Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and this is a special request RPG Maker MV tutorial for Zenwing, and he says, is there a way to set weather to the day-night cycle and have it where it goes from light rain to heavy rain? Uh, let me show you the way that I figured out. We're going to skip past this opening sequence real quick. Um, this is just setting the time system, and I'll put a link uh, in the cards up in the top right corner if uh, you want to figure out how to do this time system. This will be a continuation of that time system, how to control the weather with that time system. So you can see that we have a little bit of a sprinkle going on right now. Let's grab our clock. We can obviously see that it's daytime, but let's look at our clock real quick. And we can see that it's uh, 8 hours past this day and uh, 18 minutes past the hour, but we're not going to wait that long for it to become nighttime. We're going to just debug and make it nighttime. Alright, it should uh, be nighttime now, and uh, the rain should pick up. And you can see that as it becomes nighttime, it starts to pour quite a bit more. Pretty interesting. Let's uh, debug it back to daytime and the rain should subside into a mild sprinkle. There we have it. So let me show you how I did that. Um, after you set up your time system and uh, started the clock, uh, basically all you need to do is create uh, an event, and it's going to be a very simple event. Um, all you have to do is set the weather effect uh, to rain one or whatever you want it to be at the beginning in the daytime. And then you're going to make a conditional branch saying if hours are greater than or equal to 16, turn on a switch. This has got to be a parallel process though for in order for it to work. And then on the second page, you're going to uh, check self switch A is on. And then you're going to set what the weather to the higher, the more the heavier rain, so power of 9. And then underneath that, you're going to make a conditional branch saying if the hours is less than 16, then turn off that switch. And then it'll just go back here. So in daytime, nighttime, daytime, nighttime. And you'll specify this for whatever area that you're at. If you're in like a, a, a really frozen area, then you would just set snow. And then at nighttime, it'd snow more and so forth and so on. Um, th there's a second part to this, but it's not really a tutorial. It's a question to everybody watching because um, I have a question from another viewer and he's trying to figure out how to make uh, an enemy change so that at nighttime it's like a skeleton and in the daytime it's like an orc or something. And I can't quite figure it out. Maybe you guys can help me out. So the problem I have is uh, in order to uh, have this event switch graphics from day to night, you have to make it a parallel process. But if you make it a parallel process, then it's going to automatically start the battle as soon as you load on the map. So if you guys could figure this one out, you can see what I have going on here. This is for the nighttime. If hours are greater than uh, or equal to 16, then it's uh, the self-switch A is going to turn on. And so if it's nighttime, there's going to be a skeleton. And uh, th that all works until you get to nighttime. Uh, and then the skeleton's out. And uh, if you touch him, he'll start the battle under event touch. But if it goes daytime again, he'll still be there because this conditional br uh, branch won't trigger unless you touch him. So in, the, in the, the next day when you touch him the or her, the skeleton disappears and, instead of, I mean, it's still there. How do we make the skeleton disappear as soon as it becomes daytime again, but still initiate the battle in one thing? So that's a question, uh, something I'm still working on. I have the daytime work one, but I have the same conundrum. So thank you guys for watching. Give me uh, a like, favorite, share, subscribe if you want more content like this. And if you know the answer to this, uh, put it in the comments below and we'll give you some props for it. So thank you guys for watching. You guys are awesome. We'll see you in the next tutorial.